Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Zakrosiesio by Nanu. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to crochet 3D stitch bikini top for women. Super fast and easy, let's start it. First, you need your selected yarn. I use Himalaya bamboo. You can use any 3 light size yarn. 3.5 mm crochet hook, measuring tape, scissors, and markers. First, make a slip knot. Then chain 4 In the first chain, insert your hook and make one slip stitch to make a ring Then chain 3 to make the first row Then make 24 Double crochet stitches in the ring Like this in the ring space After you finish 24 double crochet stitches insert your hook in the chain number 3 and Make one slip stitch to join. To make the row number two, chain three, then yarn over and skip the first chain stitches and before the next double crochet stitch and after make one front post to double crochet stitch like this then yarn over and skip the next double crochet stitch in the next between the two double crochet stitches space make three double crochet stitches all in the same space like this After you finish the 3 double crochet stitches, chain 2, then make another 3 double crochet stitches in the same space like this to have 3 double crochet stitches, 2 chain stitches and another 3 double crochet stitches all in the same space between the two double crochet stitches now skip this double crochet stitch and in the next double crochet stitch make one front post to double crochet stitch like this now you have the first 3d stitch to make the next one yarn over in the next double crochet stitch, make one front post to double crochet stitch. Then, between the next two double crochet stitches, make three double crochet stitches, then chain two and another three double crochet stitches all in the same space. After you finish this stitch, skip the last one. In the next double crochet stitch, make one front post to double crochet stitch like this. Now 
Now repeat this to finish all double crochet stitches. In the next double crochet stitch make one front post double crochet stitch. Between the next two double crochet stitches make three double crochet stitches, chain two, another three double crochet stitches. Skip the last double crochet stitch. In the next double crochet stitch make one front post double crochet stitch. Repeat this to finish all stitches. After you finish all double crochet stitches, you have 6 chain 2 spaces. After you finish the last front post double crochet stitch, insert your hook in the first front post double crochet stitch and make one slip stitch. To make the row number 3, in the next double crochet stitch, make one slip stitch. Repeat this. Repeat this to finish all double crochet stitches and in the next chain 2 space. Now chain 3. In the same chain 2 space, make 4 double crochet stitches. Then chain 2, another 4 double crochet stitches in the same chain 2 space. Now put a marker in the chain 2 space. In the next chain 2 space, make 4 double crochet stitches all in the same space. Repeat, in the next chain 2 space, make 1 corner shell like this. Repeat this in the next chain 2 space. 4 double crochet stitches, chain 2, then another 4 double crochet stitches, all in the same space. Put a marker in the shell corner. Now you have two corners, repeat. In the next chain 2 space, make 4 double crochet stitches, all in the same space. Repeat. In the next chain 2 space, make a corner shell. Put a marker Repeat In the next chain 2 space make 4 double crochet stitches together After you finish all chain 2 spaces, in the third chain from the beginning chains, insert your hook and make one slip stitch to join. To make row number 4, chain 3, in the first double crochet stitch, 
make one front post double crochet stitch yarn over insert your hook between the next two double crochet stitches make three double crochet stitches then chain two and another three double crochet stitches all in the same space after you finish the 3d shell stitch in the last double crochet stitch before the chain two space make one front post double crochet stitch then yarn over in the next chain two space in the marker space make three double crochet stitches then chain two and another three double crochet stitches all in the same space Remove the marker and put it in the new chain 2 space. Then in the next double crochet stitch, make one front post to double crochet stitch. Then between the next two double crochet stitches, make three double crochet stitches, then chain two, another three double crochet stitches all in the same space. In the last double crochet stitch, make one front post to double crochet stitch. Now you have the first corner. In the next four double crochet stitches group, in the first double crochet stitch, make one front post to double crochet stitch. Between the next two double crochet stitches space, in the center, make three double crochet stitches, then chain two and another three double crochet stitches all in the same center. Then in the last double crochet stitch, make one front post to double crochet stitch. Now repeat this, repeat this corner. In the first double crochet stitch, make one front post to double crochet stitch. Then between the next two double crochet stitches space, make three double crochet stitches, then chain two and another three double crochet stitches all in the same space. Then in the last double crochet stitch before the chain two space, make one front post double crochet stitch. Now in the marker space in the chain 2 space make 3 double crochet stitches then chain 2 and another 3 double crochet stitches all in the same space remove the marker and put it in the new chain 2 space In the next double crochet stitch make one front post double crochet stitch then between the next two double crochet stitches, make three double crochet stitches, then chain two and another three double crochet stitches all in the same center space. In the last double crochet stitch, make one front post to double crochet stitch. Repeat this to finish this row.
After you finish the four double crochet stitches group, repeat the corner. After you finish the last four double crochet stitches group, insert your hook in the first front post double crochet stitch and make one slip stitch to join. In the next double crochet stitch, make one slip stitch. Repeat this to finish the three double crochet stitches and one slip stitch in the chain two space. Now, repeat row number three, then repeat row number four. Repeat according to your selected size. First, select your bikini size. Then measure like this. After you finish the last row, insert your hook in the first front post double crochet stitch, make a slip stitch, then chain one, cut the yarn to fasten off and weave in it. Make bikini straps in this space, remove the marker, first take a new yarn, then make a slip knot, to join your straps in the triangle shape, first insert your hook in the chain 2 space, then grab your slip knot. Now chain according to your selected size. First select your size. Measure your bikini straps like this. In this tutorial I selected X small size. After you measuring, skip the first chain stitch. In the next stitch make one single crochet stitch, repeat in the next stitch make one single crochet stitch, repeat like this to finish all stitches.
After you finish all chain stitches, insert your hook in the chain to space and make one slip stitch. Then chain one, cut the yarn to fasten off and weave in ends. After you finish the first piece, repeat to make the second piece. Now make back straps. Take a new yarn and make a slip knot, then chain according to your selected size. First select your bikini size Then measure your chains according to your selected size After you measuring, skip the first chain. In the next chain, make one single crochet stitch. Repeat in the next stitch, make one single crochet stitch. Repeat to finish all chain stitches. After you finish all chain stitches in the last, make one slip stitch, then chain one and cut the yarn, fasten off and weave in it to finish back bikini straps. After you finish the bikini back straps, join your back straps like this. Before the last row, start to insert your back straps like this. Start with the right side like this. Take care, don't twist your straps. Take care in the last corner, insert your strap from the front side to the back side. Repeat the second piece. Take care from the front side.
Take care, don't twist your strap. To make the last corner, insert your strap from the front side to the back side, like this. In the last corner space, now join inside corner spaces with your needle, like this. In the corner, chain two spaces, start to join with your needle, like this. After you joining, start to shape your bikini. Set your age shell stitches like this to shape your bikini. Now your bikini is ready. The blue one made with Alize cotton gold yarn. This yarn is more fluffy. The link in the description box below. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give me a big thumbs up. To see more, see you. Bye bye.